hello guys uh, welcome back so in previous video uh, we updated the spawn weapon function on your player character so this is how it should look feel free to pause the video here and make sure uh, you have it as shown here and uh, and here we'll be adding a function to drop the weapon so that we will add later and we'll be adding uh, uh, adding the function to update uh, the uh, weapon details on the weapon menu so that also we will do uh, at the last and as I have committed I'll, I'll show how to integrate the radial menu with this template so I'll show those things when we are uh, bringing the radial menu here okay so let's continue with uh, updating this holster and pick weapon uh, function okay so before that I want to uh, rename this as holsters and equip weapon so i'll be using this function in most of the areas to uh, uh, you know uh, equip all the weapons just not not just the guns but also uh, the melee weapon or uh, anything you want to have as part of a loop so we will do update this in that way so i'll just disconnect all these let the code be here uh, you can clean up at the end okay so in this thing we don't have the we don't want this mali weapon anymore so i'll remove this okay we just want whether to holster uh, weapon class and we need one more uh, variable here player target state so this type should be uh, set as one menu had elements so this enum okay so mm, okay so uh, since we have removed that uh, okay for now to avoid this let me have that uh, variable uh, we will uh, update that at the end okay we will remove this mali variable at the end just to avoid you know the errors and fixing now so i'll add the new variable okay now add a branch and when it is true get the player's current state and switch on okay. so we have all the states here and based on each state we will uh, holster it accordingly and for first we need to create a variable here uh, similar to player current state we need the player previous state okay so player previous state to first so which means when we are calling this function uh, when the player's current state is in first state we are uh, setting the previous state to first so that's the logic here and the next thing uh, we will uh, uh, attach component okay so uh, connect all these three uh, weapons to attach component to component 
and uh, the target and the parent uh, to decide that we'll get the current weapon and get its socket Select we need uh, one more select for the scene and uh, connect the first select to the target and the second one to the parent. Okay, now we have to supply the values for this. So for the first one it will be the child actors hip uh, hip weapon back weapon back weapon two okay and uh, for uh, the target connect the uh, sockets of each hip weapon socket back weapon socket. and set this to snap to target and when we are holstering we will be setting the overlay state to default so overlay state to default and player previous state will be player's current state current state and uh, when we have holstered uh, we will be uh, hiding our uh, crosshair crosshair so visibility is false so this thing is void and at the end uh, update update weapon head the weapon head uh, this should be first okay for first we have we haven't created uh, anything so for now okay i'll quickly create the first material Underscore icon underscore list. So open this. I already have the first image. Okay. Uh, this image will not suit here because I have all the huts planned with. Uh, uh, landscape orientation so I'll, I'll bring in a, a different first so here I'll select first it's the first primary weapon okay so this should be fine uh, for now uh, I think we will stop here uh, in this function for Mali grenade and throwables we will update later and uh, we will meanwhile uh, we will update the equip part also so if holster is false then uh, take this player target state and do a switch and uh, connect it here to the false part and uh, if the target state is fist, uh, we are not going to do anything.
okay connect back socket all the three sockets here and parent this held object root snap to target and for uh, the weapon that 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 we needs to be equipped take a branch from here and uh, you select and the return value connect it here to target and uh, for the uh, items connect the child actors okay this should be fine and we have to set and get the over set uh, set the player to the right overlay state state and to get the overlay state again take a branch from here select and uh, from each weapon class we can take its overlay state so hip weapon class overlay state connected to hip so similarly for uh, back weapon and back weapon 2 connected to the right parts okay so now we should be able to equip and uh, uh, you know uh, holster uh, the weapon so let's test now how it goes. Okay. Okay, we are able to equip. Okay, it has equipped, it has holstered the pistol and equipped the rifle. Okay, now we have third weapon here with us. We will do it in the reverse. We are equipped sniper. Uh, I think the the sockets we have in my set as zero, so that's the reason. But it is going to the socket. That's a good sign. Okay, we'll fix that. So this thing, set everything to zero. Okay. Uh. Okay, that we I think we have to adjust on the socket here. Back weapon socket. I'll attach a preview weapon. I'll keep it like this. Okay, now it is going fine. And we have third weapon also. And even the okay. So everything looks good now. So we have three weapons in hand now. Uh, I think this is a good start for us. Uh, what we need to change is we have to add a function to drop weapon. So we are not able to pick a weapon uh, when we already have that weapon class so because we haven't connected that anyway. So we'll add the drop weapon function in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.